Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is overcurrent and over voltage protection. First, we will talk about overcurrent protection techniques. These techniques are used to protect the power devices like SCR, phosphate, IGBT and so on. So from the exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. What are different over current protection techniques used in power devices and explain anyone in detail. So different over current protection techniques are we can protect the power devices by placing a fuse or second crowbar circuits or third MCCB unit. So basically MCCB is modulated case circuit breaker. Now what are the causes of overcurrent? Overcurrent is the current that is exceeding beyond a certain limit and it may damage the power device like if you are using SCR it may damage SCR. So overcurrent is produced due to uh, certain reasons like there may be faults in the circuit or surge current may flow. Surge current means certain suddenly certain maximum amount of current starts flowing through the circuit or there may be short circuit or overload. In all such cases, there can be a flow of overcurrent in the circuit which may damage the power device. Now there is one typical term which is called sub-cycle surge current. It is defined as the magnitude and rate of change of surge current. As I have told surge current is certain maximum current which is flowing for typically small amount of time period. So magnitude and rate of rise of surge current for small duration is called sub-cycle surge current. Now to avoid uh, this uh, or to protect the power devices, two types of fuses are used. We are talking about the first technique that is using fuse for the protection purpose. So there are two types of fuses. One is glass fuse and another is semiconductor fuse. In case of a glass fuse, it is not preferred for power electronics uh, devices. Reason is it is slow blowing whereas the semiconductor fuses are preferred because of the fast blowing action. This is the corresponding circuit diagram. Here as shown in this figure, we are using four SCRs, say S1, S2, S3 and S4. These are the four SCRs. In series with each SCR, one fuse is shown. This fuse is used for the protection purpose. Similarly, we are applying single phase AC supply. In series with this AC supply, again we are place we have placed the fuses so whenever over current takes place that is uh, for certain amount of uh, small time duration the current exceeds beyond the rated value then it may damage the device so to protect it we have connected the fuse in series with each scr as well as uh, in series with the single phase ac supply this is the uh, diagram corresponding graph of current versus time that is the current flowing through the fuse versus time <coughs> A is, let us say A is the point which indicates the maximum let through current, that is maximum allowed current. So up to this point, the current is allowed. Beyond that, let us say if the current increases up to point B. See, point B is the point which indicates that the surge current may increase in the absence of fuse. Matlab, agar hum log fuse nahi use kar rahe, to in that case, the current starts increasing, surge current increases it goes beyond point B, reaches up to point, it goes beyond point A and reaches up to point B. <coughs> but due to use of uh, fuse, once the current reaches up to point A, then the arcing takes place. Arcing of the fuse, arcing between the fuse takes place because of which the temperature gets increased and there will be open circuit. So it may, it will protect the corresponding SCR. So, Whenever the maximum let through current is used, this time period starting from zero is called melting time. That is T melt. That is melting of the fuse takes place. And after this arcing takes place. Due to arcing, the current reduces uh, suddenly. So this indicates the arcing takes place and current reaches to zero after some time. So this time, to total time period should be as minimum as possible. So this is the over current protection circuit used for uh, power semiconductor devices. The next part is over voltage protection. So first we will discuss what is over voltage. Always manufacturers are specifying certain uh, limits 
uh, of voltages so applied across say SCR across any power conducting uh, power devices as such we are talking about SCRs presently but due to certain reasons the voltage across that particular device across SCR gets exceed and it may damage the SCR what are the common reasons because of which the voltage gets exceed first is it may be due to the commutation of SCRs or it may be due to supply surges that means there can be there may be a surge we are getting from the main supply and third there there may be the reason related to the load source so these are some common reasons because of which the voltage spikes are generated and it may damage the particular power device now to avoid this or to use the to provide the protection against this over voltage we can use LC that is inductor capacitor LPF that is low pass filter so LC LPF inductor capacitor low pass filter can be used at the input side which as the name indicates this is the low pass filter so it avoids it stops the high frequency voltage spikes second is we can use the snubber circuit that we are going to discuss in detail so this snubber circuit basically offers low impedance path for the current produced by voltage transients voltage transients means voltage spikes sudden increase in the voltage that you are getting that is the voltage transient so this is avoided or this can be smoothened down by using this uh, snubber circuit third we can use metal oxide uh, varistors variable resistors to limit the exceed in the uh, to limit the excess voltage so these are the three major techniques which are used to provide protection against this over voltage now very important part is the snubber circuit from exam point of view you may expect the question like this what is what are different voltage protection techniques and explain anyone in detail or explain snubber uh, voltage control voltage protection uh, circuitry so this is the corresponding circuitry here vs is the voltage applied at the input side this is the switch we are using one diode one capacitor c and one resistor r this is the scr which is the power device this particular combination is called a snubber circuit if you are not using these extra components then whenever this switch is closed then it may happen that due to sudden uh, closing of switch a step signal is generated the step signal is like this that means sudden voltage is generated whenever you will close this switch and let us assume that we are not using any extra components then in that case voltage spikes may gets generated and it will it may appear across the SCR which may damage this device so to avoid this we are making use of this extra components which we call it as a snubber circuit now whenever this SCR is off or whenever this SCR is in forward blocking mode let us say it is in off condition at that time this voltage vs whenever switch closes this voltage vs starts flowing through this diode d and it will start charging this capacitor c because this is now off so ideally think like this this is the diode and a capacitor so the capacitor starts charging that means what due to whatever voltage applied at the input side that is due to vs this diode gets forward bashed but the forward resistance of diode is very small that means as if this capacitor is directly connected across this SCR this is the capacitor so sudden uh, charging or sudden discharging does not take place there is a gradual change so we can say uh, if, you, if you just neglect the um, uh, forward voltage drop across this diode and if you assume that the diode has very low um, or minimum impedance in the forward direction then we can easily say <coughs> since there is <clears throat> gradual change across uh, voltage as far as this capacitor is concerned same gradual change of voltage takes place across this SCR whenever capacitor is getting charged after some time the capacitor gets fully charged at that time this diode gets reverse bias and it will act as open circuit once this capacitor gets fully charged now whenever this capacitor whenever this SCR is turned on at that time the capacitor starts getting discharged like this through resistance R. This resistance R plays an important role because whenever this SCR is on 
at that time there can be a surge current so to protect that surge current this resistance r is used so again a uh, smoothly flow of current takes place so this is called the snubber circuit which avoids the sudden uh, changes or spikes of voltages and it protects the circuit now as far as the designing is concerned the value of dv by dt that is rate of change of voltage uh, across this particular scr is <coughs> 0.632 times Vs upon Rc. R is value of resistance, C is value of capacitance. The value of resistance is calculated using the formula Vs. Vs is the supply voltage upon ITD. ITD is the basically discharge current of the capacitor. So this is about the snubber circuit used for voltage source protection. Next is metal oxide varistors. These are used to provide the over voltage protection. So it is MOVs, metal oxide varistors. As the name indicates, the value of resistance of this device varies that it changes according to the voltage applied across that device. Important characteristics is Whenever there is a high voltage across this device, then it offers very low resistance, ideally zero resistance. On the contrary, if there is low voltage across the device, then it offers normal resistance. So here as shown in this diagram, this is the single phase AC supply. This is the power device uh, or power circuit, which we want to be protected against this uh, over voltage. So in parallel with this or across this uh, circuit to be protected, we have shown there is a connection of MOV that is metal oxide varistor. This device consists of, this is the symbol of this device MOV. Uh, this device consists of metal oxide uh, particles due to the characteristics of that particles, it acts as the variable resistor. So as I said, whenever there is a voltage spike, see, uh, this device's major characteristics is whenever there is a large voltage across it, then it it produces zero resistance, ideally. So whenever there is a voltage spike from input side, then this device produces very low impedance that is zero resistance because of which, because of the zero resistance, this voltage spike will pass through this device any voltage spike will not pass through the uh, power circuit and the circuit will be protected. On the contrary, if there is a normal uh, voltage, it is not a voltage spike, normal operating voltage, then this device offers the normal high resistance or high impedance because of which the voltage spike will be passed to the, not voltage spike, normal voltage will be passed to the device under consideration. So this is the simple technique which provides the over voltage protection. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.